Hi, hello and welcome. Thank you very much for clicking on my video. Today we will be doing a full run through of Fear and Hunger 1 using Kahara, picking up the Penance Armor and going for Ending B, which is fighting against the Traces of Grogoroth. I'll be doing a few things differently from last video, since I'm expecting a lot of people to have this on in the background as you do something else. I decided to put some background music on. The music playing throughout the entire playthrough will be from the Blasphemous 1 and Blasphemous 2 OST. I will not be playing it during the boss fights because I personally think the boss fights in Fear and Hunger have pretty good music. Like my last video, I will be speaking up or trying to make sure you have some audio cue for when I think there's something interesting happening on screen. Like now, I love this intro. Also, the first half of this I recorded offline and then provided the commentary later. The second half is from a live stream, so the audio might be a little bit different and you might hear a random comment here and there in response to the, to the comments, but I've mostly edited out anything that I thought you wouldn't be interested in. So any runbacks or any points in the live stream where I was talking to viewers about something not relating to the game. Let me know what you think, or if you have any feedback, I'm still figuring out the format that I think works best for all of this. Okay, so let's get to the game. My purpose of this run through was to collect a lot of footage using the Penance Armor. I will be using this footage on an upcoming video about the Penance Armor from Fear and Hunger, and comparing it to the Berserker Armor in Berserk. First, you can do the Torturer's Plotline, and have him give you the key. Second, you can get a Book of Enlightenment, learn the, the phase spell, and just teleport through the wall. Or lastly, and why I'm choosing Kahara, you can just steal it from him. So I've chosen Kahara because he can start off with a steal ability, and his combat stats are good enough that the first parts of the game aren't too much of a challenge. Here I choose to abandon my comrades because the escape plan ability is very useful in trying to get out of fights that you're not ready for. The big picture of what I will be doing is first I'll be rescuing Legard because he's a strong fighter and I want him in my party. I will be recruiting Darcy. I will be doing everything that might be helpful before putting on the penance armor. So specifically the bunny mask orgy and the wolf mask orgy since they both provide affinity and I want to have my options in the spells that I can, I can unlock to use against Grogoroth. I ended up using Moonless as my fourth party member, but that's because I forgot to get the Eclipse Talisman from the Yellow Mages before I killed him, so I made a mistake on that one. But it worked out well enough. If you don't get the Eclipse Talisman, you cannot recruit Nasra nor Enki. And besides, I like Moonless and I thought it'd be fun to have her all the way to the end. Okay, so early part of the game is mostly looting. I can see some people liking this part because of the gambling RNG factor, but I can also see people finding it tedious that every time you do a run through, you have to loot all of these different containers. This first level is fairly straightforward. Basically here, what you'll want to do is loot everything and avoid the manevas. Here, I did trigger the encounter with the Black Witch, which at first doesn't really serve too much more of a purpose than just gives you an opportunity to loot and creates ambiance and introducing you to a, to a monster you'll be fighting later on if you're playing on terror and starvation mode. <laughs> Looting everything, we return back to the regular dimension. Manebas aren't too much of a threat at this point but they do have the very annoying ability to inject you with worms. Worms increase the rate at which your hunger meter depletes. Now that's not too bad, but you have to use a, you have to use worm juice to get rid of the status, which then gives you a poison effect. So then you have to use a white vial. 
And at the beginning of the game, because of the random pickups you have, it's not guaranteed you'll have both of them. So it can just be a bit annoying to deal with that. Also, random Tibbet, notice how you can't tell what you have and have not looted just by looking at the sprite. That's something that they added in in the second game that I thought was a small but important addition. So you don't end up trying to loot the same containers over and over again. It's nice to get good equipment early on, but I prefer to save my lucky coins for uh, combat encounters and for looting shelves, trying to get scrolls. Okay, and down to level 3 where the improvised graveyard is and also the iron Shakespeare can be found here. You also find the Heavy Knight and a lot of containers to loot. So mostly that's what I'll be doing on this floor as well, looting. There is one of the only instances where you can save the game without having to do a coin flip here. At the bed on this level, you're allowed one free safe save without any chance of an encounter. But it only works once. If you do it again, you will encounter the Crow Mauler. Just to reduce tedium, a lot of times I will save here, having looted the first two floors, and then I can just start trying to go for the caverns to start recruiting my party. More armor always helps, which is kind of, which is going to be the theme because later on you'll see that I'll be trying to build the tankiest, heaviest armor party possible using the Gaunt armor set and the Penance armor set. Okay, having looted these first two floors, I go ahead and save the game. So that was my one free save. On this level, if I do it again, the Crow Mauler will spawn, and I am not ready for that. Alright, the prison level where, if you're not playing as him, you would find Kahara. And you also find a switch that activates the elevator that allows you to go down to the caverns, which will be my main objective here. In terms of monsters, you will have the flying little golem guys and a couple of guards and depending on your luck, maybe an elite guard. Fortunately, in spite of their names, they're not very good guards. Their cone of vision is actually fairly limited. If you have the dash ability, it's easy to run away from them. Once you're familiar with your patterns, adding them is also feasible. General pattern you'll want to follow is first turn attack the arm with the knife to take it out so he can't dismember you. Guard on the second turn. 
so that he can't do the coin flip attack against you. And then on the third and fourth turn, attack the torso, which should take him down. I keep looting everything because I would rather have something and not need it rather than need it and not have it. I activate the lever that will allow me to go from the blood pit to the caverns. I really like using Nazra, but since I'm going up against Grogoroth, I will not be recruiting him this time. I descend into the caverns, and here I will be recruiting my first party member, which is the adorable puppy Moonless. She's a good boy. She's a good girl, I mean. Pocket Cat is here, but I'm not recruiting the girl, so I really don't have anything to do with him this time around. Moonless can be heard howling in the background. So the trick or the subversion here is that if this is your first time playing the game, you would think this is a regular uh, monster encounter. But if you talk to her and feed her two pieces of rotten meat, you can either dismiss her or have her join your party. And Moonless has a lot of similarities to the goat in the second part. Crossing into the mines and hearing that sound means that the crow modder will now start spawning randomly throughout the dungeon. Here we see Nosramus, but I won't really be interacting with him or her very much this playthrough. Talking to this character is important if you're doing the Enki S ending. Since I don't have any magic or curse weapons, I don't have any way to damage ghost type enemies yet. So I run away. First of two yellow mages, and as you will see, I completely forgot to get the Eclipse Talisman from him. The Eclipse Talisman is a sign that you're a student of Grogoro and allows you to recruit Enki and Nazra. Sorcerer's Stone is useful to have since it will regenerate mind in combat. And here we can find Darcy for recruitment. Darcy is being attacked by some of the cave dwellers and if you save her, she'll be willing to join your party. Cave dwellers, in spite of their appearances, are fairly easy to deal with. Once you take out the arm that has a weapon, they basically can't attack you.
And soon we will encounter the second of the two yellow mages in the dungeon. And again, I forgot to steal the Eclipse Talisman from him. With Darcy in the party now, this encounter is almost trivial. What you'll want to do is take out his, his left or right arm and leg, which will prevent him from casting any spells on you. In the cave dweller village, my true objective is to get the rope. The rope will allow me to descend down one more level um, to where the wolf mask ritual is going on and give me easy access to the catacomb level where I can rescue Lagarde. Every playthrough, there is a 10% chance that instead of encountering the cave dweller village, you'll instead find that the moonless guards have come in and killed everybody already. So it seems like that's what happened this time around. Find a rope inside this little hut. The iron spear has a higher attack rating than the scimitar, but you can't use a shield with it since it requires two hands to wield. We also see what appears to be this cave dweller child simply terrified, especially since he's the last surviving member of his tribe. With the rope in hand, now I can descend one more level to go rescue the guard. I should have participated in the wolf mask ritual here and now, but I didn't think of it, but I will be coming back later. The main threat on this level are the ghosts. They can't attack you directly, but they can cast a spell that after three times your character will die. To apply damage to them, you need either a cursed weapon or magic spells, neither of which I have at the moment. Having reached the catacombs, I'm going to go unlock the shortcut and save game. I have to get past the Night Lurch and an Elite Guard to rescue the Guard. So, Dying here is just kind of frustrating because I will have to do everything in the caverns and the mines again. So it's just a quick easy run back to go back upstairs, save game, and then rescue the guard. Thank you. 
Here we find the first of three organ bags that we have to cut in order to access the God of Depths and the Gauntlet. I'm going to use this ritual circle to pray to Almer. My goal is to increase my affinity with Almer to unlock the blood portal spell, which makes moving around the dungeon a lot easier. You'll have to pray to Almer three times to increase affinity level. Here, the challenge is getting around that elite guard. I'm still not to the point where I can comfortably take him on without losing any limbs or taking any heavy damage. So sneaking is still best. Also, you will probably be seeing videos from me regarding this, but Legard is heavily influenced by Griffiths in Berserk. Darcy is influenced or a homage to Casca. And this entire sequence is reminiscent of when Guts, Casca, and the Band of the Hawks break into a prison in Midland to rescue Griffiths before the eclipse. I'm currently reading the manga series, all of it, which is a lot, so it's going to take me a minute, but I do hope to be making videos looking at the influences from Berserk in Fear and Hunger. And we'll find out that Legard, just like Griffiths, is a fucking asshole. That is a little bit of an understatement on my behalf. Although I do think you can make the argument that Griffiths is a lot worse than Legard. Although Legard is not a good person either. Legard is a great addition to the party. Along with Darcy, he starts off with very good armor. And he also has the leg sweep ability, which can... Hit all enemy legs in one attack, but more importantly, it can also it can also open doors. There's a bug that doing the leg sweep attack on doors will one hit kill them, and that includes the crow mother's door that leads to the miasma. So now I have the full party that I will be using for the rest of the game: Darcy, Legard for muscle, and Moonless because I couldn't recruit anybody else. And I like Moonless. So now to do the bunny mask ritual and the wolf mask ritual to get the affinities for the respective gods. Here you can see another example of why the dash is such a good ability. I can just run by the night lurker. So here I am going to get the Vault Key from Torture the Torturer using Kahara's Steel ability. So first I will be ambushing him and then disabling his arm that has a knife that he is able to use to attack us. Also, I think this character has a counterpart in Berserk um, as the torturer, the guy that tortured Griffiths when he was uh, in captivity. So, now I have the Vault Key, but I still want to do the, the two rituals before uh, getting the armor on. Up ahead, we encounter Buckman. He does have different little parts to play in the story, but in this playthrough, we won't really be interacting with him much. He's the failed leader of the rescue squad, sent in to help stabilize the situation at the dungeon after Captain Rudimer, who became the Crow Mauler, reached out asking for help.
And since, since it's the first time on this level, on this run through, I will be looting everything. Killing these dark priests will get you a soul stone. And fortunately, they are almost no threat at all, at least with a full party. Sacrificing the person on the crucifix counts as a prayer to Almer, so that puts us at two out of three prayers to Almer to increase affinity with him and get the blood portal spell. Okay, now I'm gonna head over to level 1, the entrance, to get the mock-up mock book, which I need to trigger the secret passage. Also, we'll see Isaiah here, and it's a good opportunity to keep looting. At the ritual circle, I'm going to pray to Almer which will count as the third time, so that will increase my affinity and unlock the Blood Portal spell. With a full party, a guard presents minimal threat. I can use one person to cut off his arms, and then everybody else to go for the torso, which should kill him in a turn or two. Also, a shout out to the channel and the creator Dark Raccoon, since I am using the mod that he made, and it's been very helpful. So thank you to him. Check out his content; it's good. I hate fighting. I hate fighting these zombies because they are very likely to infect you if they land a hit. So you have to try to take out both of his arms and the head in the first turn uh, to try to make it so he doesn't hit you and make you use up one of your few green herbs. Here we will find a hexen table that will allow me to unlock spells and skills. The blood portal spell, which I will be unlocking, is extremely useful in part 1 and 2 because it allows you to fast travel around the map which just saves you a lot of time. And now I do a quick save and continue on with our adventure, going deeper and darker into the dungeon of fear and horror. Fear and hunger, goddammit. So here's a little trick to cheese the save game system. Since I failed the coin flip and got attacked, now if you try to rest again, you'll get the message that you have too much adrenaline to fall back asleep. So all you have to do is just exit the map and re-enter, and then you can try the coin flip again.
And now I'll head back to that ritual circle I was just at to open the blood portal there in case I need to come back to this level. Now I need to feed everybody, make sure they don't get weak from hunger. And I'm going to loot this floor. I will encounter the girl, but I will be leaving her in her cage since she won't be needed in the party this playthrough. All right, let's skip through this part and use fast forward since I will basically just be going through a lot of loot boxes, trying to get any gear, food, or healing items I can find. And now we are approaching the library on this floor, where I just picked up the mock-up book, which I had mentioned earlier. And also, a lot of the loot here can be some of the most powerful in the game, since you can get the Empty Scroll, Book of Enlightenment, the Passage to Mahabra, or any of the scrolls that will just grant you skills. Note, there is a Mahabra book and a Passage to Mahabra. One is just lore, and the other one will teleport you there so you can loot and will also it's also what you need to get to uh, get the blue sin And here I have a bad luck of falling through a hole into the level below. Fortunately, it's not too much of annoyance, so it's basically just loot all these boxes in the area, then you're in the prison, and you can just make your way back to where I just was. terrifying presence has entered the room so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful because the crow modeler is now on the map and there he is and I'm not in a position where I want to fight him yet fortunately the cave gnomes don't pose too much of a threat once you have more than like two or three people in your party I return to where I fell through the floor and go into the other library. I loot all the shelves. I don't really need to talk to Enki 
since I won't be able to recruit him this time. Great, now I got the Passage of Mahavre, which will be very useful for when I try to pick up the Blue Sin. Using the mock-up book, I can get this bookshelf to slide over and give me access to the backyard. Here, we encountered Rag. Rag is also a very good party member, but I'm not going to use him since I have Legard in my party. And here we arrive at the Buddy Mask Orgy, which will refill my health and give me some affinity with Sylvan that I'll need for the healing spells. And of course, I'm using the censored version since I have no idea if YouTube would let me monetize this otherwise. And thanks again to Dark Raccoon for the mod. And with that, let's go into the caverns and fight the Salmon Snake, since I will need either a ring, a still blood, or the Salmon Snake soul in order to stop the bleeding status that I'll get once I put on the Penance Armor. So one of the first things you'll want to do with the Summon Snake is destroy his eye so that he loses accuracy and misses more often when he attacks you with his claws. And then I'm gonna focus damage on his head and try to end the fight quickly. I get the Summon Snake Soul and also Meat, just in case I need it. This guy again, but I still don't have magic or cursed weapons, so I run and try to avoid him. The Crow Modder makes another appearance, so we'll have to juke by him. Using the Explosive Vial will give me another path down to the Wolf Mask uh, ritual.
But first, there's some loot up here that I want to pick up. I probably won't need it, but I'm paranoid and I'd rather have it and not need it. If you're quick the first time through, you can just avoid all the ghosts. Except if you take a wrong turn like I did there. This is the correct path of where I was trying to go. Since I'm already here, and it is a good weapon, I pick up the blue sin. The thing is that when you pull it out, the caves will collapse and kill you. So the only way to get the sword safely is to use the passage of Mahavar book to basically be teleported out of the collapse. In this illusion of Mahavar, we get our first glimpse of the four new gods. Chambara, Bote, I'm gonna mispronounce this, I'm sorry, Frank, Frank Schwa, and Nilvin. I find it odd that Frank Schwa from Qua, fuck, I can never get it right, is modeled after a Spanish conquistador, but has a French name, but I guess since France and Spain are next to each other, it's not really that much of a stretch, but just a comment. And basically, we can't do too much here other than just go around and loot as much as you can in hopes that will help you during your playthrough. The Passage of Mahavar book is, it can be slightly useful all the way up to extremely useful if you get a good drop here. This area can't be accessed otherwise to my knowledge, but I think it is still on the Mahavar map. You just can't get there without using the book. I could be wrong on that though. So, I'm just gonna loot as much as I can before the clock runs out, and I'm sent back to the now collapsed mines. Once the time is up, we are teleported back to the collapsed mines. So it does impact navigation. Uh, you do have to take some alternate routes as you cross this area, but it's not too bad.
By causing the collapse, you also do get a couple of other unique items, including a charm, the Yaigetsu charm, that increases your critical hit rate, and a helmet with pretty good magic defense. Part 2, the charm can be found in the museum. It's one of the three items that you can loot. So now the only exit out of this area is through the thicket. I try to avoid the mumblers because there's really no benefit in engaging with them and drop down to the bottom of the thicket to get back to the catacombs. But since I'm here, and before I forget, I'm also going to cut open the second purple organ bag that I need to cut in order to access the gauntlet at the end of the game. Snip snap! From the catacombs, I'm going to open a blood portal and teleport all the way back to the first level so that I can get to the wolf mask ritual. First, I gotta deal with this night lurker. From here, I work my way back down to the caverns. I'm going to pick up the cube of the depths and also visit the wolf mask. I'm going to fast forward a little bit.
here I get lucky and find an empty scroll, which is always useful to have on hand. Especially if you want a Book of Enlightenment uh, before going into the gauntlet. Also, I've equipped the Pinecone Pig just to see what it's like to play with having that thing equipped. And they're cute. The Moonless Guards present a little bit more of a threat. I'll probably be able to take him out in one turn, but he should still get one attack in. I collect the Cube of the Depths. Doing this will get me affinity with Grogoroth in case I want some offensive spells and also refills your hunger meter. So now I am ready to equip the penance armor, but first I need to light all the torches on this floor to get access to where it is. I get some luck and I find a cursed weapon, which is always nice. They do more damage, some of them can inflict status effects, and they can damage ghosts. And now Kahara is ready to step into the penance armor. So now I need to equip something that will stop the bleed status effect. The Penance Armor, along with the Gaunt Armor, is one of the two best armors in the game. I will be getting the Gaunt Armor set later on, uh, so at the end game I should have a very tanky and heavily armored party.
And with that, I am nearly ready to start heading to Mahabra. Just in case I want the Devour ability. And also just to give you a fuller view of the game and ha add some more content to this video. I'm going to go ahead and fight Rag and take him out. From here, the easiest way to the bottom of the dungeon is just to go through the thicket, so I will be doing that next. The mumblers aren't too tough, but they are annoying because they have a spell they can cast on you that will permanently lower your mind, and it's irreversible. So generally that will cause me to just X out and reload the game. So it's tedious sometimes. Though to note, uh, the, thicket, the thicket does have a lot of good loot, so it is worth exploring. And here I will also be picking up the Eastern Sin Sword which will be useful for me uh, for the rest of the run.
here is the Eastern Sword, which along with the Miasma and the Blue Sin is one of the best weapons in the game, especially once it's purified. When you pull it out, you'll get attacked by a ghost. So if you, if you manage to defeat the ghost, the sword becomes purified and can now inflict more damage. It's a pretty straightforward fight, but in this case, I have the liability that I only have one weapon that can do uh, magic damage. Though fortunately, Legard lands a critical hit and ends the fight in one turn. And now the sword is purified, coming the Black Steel of the East. Okay, from here on in, I will be handing you off to a past version of myself, and all the commentary will be the commentary I provided live during a live stream. So all the footage from here on in will be from past me. Next, we will be going to Mahabre, where we will fight Altail, uh, Chambara, the skin granny, and then finally get access to the golden palace where we can cut the third purple organ bag that we need to get access to the gauntlet. So without any further ado, I hand you off to a past version of myself. I want his, uh, his mask. So that's good content for the stream. Isaiah, that's his name. So I'm just gonna bum rush, uh, doing damage to his torso. Darcy's got the amulet that gives her increased uh, crit. So that's what that was. Okay, who gets the iron mask? Okay, Legard's got the cloth hood. Darcy's got a leather helmet, so who's got the least defense? Legard. Oh, and this will also protect against the crow mauler. And she put the Jingasa Caputo on Darcy. Okay, so now to the catacombs, and let's see if we encountered the the crow mauler. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank you. Thanks for thanks for hopping in. It's my pleasure. Thanks for watching. Hmm. I appreciate that. Can't promise you. If anyone got the point to survive this darkness. What are what's mine that? Oh no, they're all doing kinda of okay, except moonless. Let's give let's give puppy some alcohol. Oh I got a lot of tobacco and opium I should be using. Do I not have ale? Usually towards the top. There we go. I need more soul stones, because I need to start unlocking uh, healing spells. And I think I already killed everything, so I can just walk into my harbor. Let's hang out for one moment, see if the crow motor shows up. I don't need the miasma, but I figure why not start off the stream by fighting the crow mother. So once you get a few people, the guards are actually kind of easy. Well, they're not easy, but they're manageable. Okay, I don't need the miasma, but I still would rather fight the crow modder.
Okay, I'm just gonna go to Mahabur. Did I get the cube of the depths? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it already. Yeah, okay, cube of the depths. Alright, how are we doing on hunger? Hunger's fine, body's fine, mind's fine. Okay, left is the zombies, right is the, the... I forget what the guy's called, but he's creepy. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the... Oh wait. I might as well stop by the Tomb of the Gods since I'm here. Fortunately, I have the Salmon Snake Ruin, so if I get infected, I can just use that to cure it. Except if it's moonless. Moonless can't. God, do I have any green herbs? Oh, okay, I got three. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is one of the puzzles to get into the. Am I tripping? Ah, damn it. Come here. I'm gonna go for the the torso. I, I should have enough damage to take him out in one turn. Unless he paralyzes people. Let's see if I can... I got three poisons, so that's uh, white vials. Do I have any white vials? I got one. Hmm. Okay, I got... I might have to restart. Uh, well, not not restart, but for my last save. Cause uh, oh, well, I should find plenty of loot in my harbor, So, oh, you can only solve the puzzle in the past. That's why I can't move any of these. So there's three puzzles in this area that if you solve them, you get access to where Almer is. But just remember, you can only do it in the past. Right now, we're in the present. I'm gonna use a torch here. Okay, so we're hoping for white vials. At least I can heal Moonless. Moonless needs some heals, too. So that's Darcy. Uh, I really, I, I really need to get a healing spell. Come on, white vials. Oh, but if I have them equipped as salmon snake ruin, that might work. Let's try that. No, but if I if limb losses and bleeding. Let's see. Nah. 
That's not working. Well, maybe the pinecone pig will give us one. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. <laughs> well, I can assure you, I am live. Or alive. So, people stream replays? I guess not the craziest thing I've heard about. Yeah, I'm doing a video on the penance armor and the berserk armor, so need a footage. Uh, where am I going? Tower of the Endless. Is there? Uh, but there is some more loot down here. And I'm still looking for white vials. And then I'm gonna go attempt the new gods. Oh yeah, these stones. It's better to have a few extra. Because that was like three. Is there a merchant can buy white arrows from? Oh, white vials? I think so, but the uh, Moonless Guards spawned and just killed everybody. Eh, I guess I might as well go save game. Oh, and there's a bunch of loot this way too. And then I'm gonna go do Valtier and Champara. Okay, that's two white vows, so I just need one more. White, there we go. Guess since Darcy has both, I'll give it to her. Ah, I forgot about this. Uh, do I need to save her? Not really. Uh. Sorry. I got things to do. I feel kind of bad letting her go now. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to go for Grogaroth on this run, but I've, uh... Oh, awesome. So I'm about to get poisoned again. I do sometimes wish that the the looting was a bit faster, because you loot a lot in this game. <clears throat> ah, fuck, I've got to feed people. Okay, at least we got them this time. Uh, I think I have a bunch of mushrooms. Cabbage for everybody. Who doesn't like some fresh cabbage? Uh, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> the person, the woman I failed to save. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I think I want to go up there in the past to activate the blood portal and use a save. Then I'm going to run over and do Valtail and Shambara. Which I think I should be equipped fairly well for them. But what I still need is soul stones, because I still need a healing spell. So 
It's a good thing this game is pretty good. I don't want... Oh, fuck. I'm in the wrong time period. Okay, I can be safe for now. No, okay, flashback sequence. I got it wrong. I need to just lay down in the pa in the present. Okay, but at least I can get some loot here real quick, and we can see a uh, pocket cat snatch a child and carry him away to the darkness. Okay, I think we need to trigger this scene, which, fortunately, I have the censorship mod on, but Curtis, the one that uh, Dark, Dark Raccoon made. I need to make sure I credit him. So to anybody that hasn't seen this, this is the flashback sequence for Kahara, explaining his backstory. Or part of his backstory. Poor Kahara. Sucks that he's the only one that canonically doesn't sur doesn't survive. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this a little bit. Okay, I think there's like one. I think the. Um, there's like two things you have to do. I like to think something good happened to them, but knowing the world of uh, fear and hunger, I agree. I probably something bad happened to them. Okay, I think this is the the, the other thing. I somehow never connected the meow sound effects here to uh, to the fact that it was Pocket Cat until I actually made the Pocket Cat video. Okay, I think I got almost everything down here. Is there anything back here? I thought this was a second flashback. Cheese. Okay, is that everything? I got all of this, I think. Oh wait, did I? Okay. 
There should be one last slow area up here. Loot. Okay, we are okay. I'm gonna equip Darcy with the Sorceress Stone. Can I not take this off? Oh, kind of makes sense though. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm doing this the skin granny then. I was trying to do this later, but okay. Shouldn't be too bad though. Nah. And it'd be a, they wouldn't give you a shout out. Thank you for all the support, all the comments and the membership and all that. I appreciate the support. Something I may want to do a comparison video between the Knights of the Midnight Sun and the Band of the Hawks. But there's a lot more lore in Berserk, obviously. I'm, I'm making my way through that series right now. Sleep tight, sweet prince. Man, like, Ragnar and Levi just get, like, the fucking shortest end of the stick every time. Levi in particular, when you think about what happens to him, like... I mean, everybody's got a tragic backstory, but goddamn, Levi. Okay, are we fed? Yes. Body? We could use a few heals here and there. Okay, what do I... what can I make? Nice. Uh, craft. Okay, so... Moonless is a bit low. I don't have any healing spells, right? Correct. I got enough mind to use special abilities. Let's go, Granny. Hmm. Okay, last check. Hunger, good. Mind. Darcy and the Guardian a little bit. Uh, I don't really need a pine cone. Pick this time. Let's go Silent Stone. Keep him safe. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah, I think you get a few turns, so... Um... Steel... Business attack... Darcy... Fast attack... Okay, huh, she's already bleeding. Okay, so we got fast attack... Let's go for her arms, the guards can go for the legs. My favorite enemy? 
I think as a well-designed enemy, the Harvest Man is very off-putting and different. But as like an antagonist, I think the King in Yellow. Legard, his, his whole story. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised at how much fun I'm having these games. But yeah, it's... It's hard to explain people to people why why these games are so fascinating. Okay, so everybody go for the top and the guard goes for a leg sweep. Oh nice, that's two or three arms. Okay, I think we're doing pretty well here. There we go. Okay, that went pretty well. So there's like two scenes in, in the Golden Age arc of Berserk that kind of remind me of this scene. But it's with Guts instead of Legard. Rival the gods in both power and beauty. Keep forgetting that Shambara used to be a uh, handsome or whatever. Okay, come on, we got boss fights to get to. Favorite playable character in the. F I play with a Bella a lot, cause I like her backstory. I think she no, but if you pick a Bella in the first game, the second game, you can't recruit anybody. Darcy in the first one makes the game super easy. Well, not super easy, but relatively easy. So I'll say Darcy and Marco in the second one, cause Marco is just early game. Marco is. A lot less frustrating than other characters. Come on. Okay. But like, like everybody else, I hope that at some point Tanaka is a playable character. I, I do want, for some reason I want to learn more about this character. Take her to the heart of darkness. That's so ominous. I think this unlocks. Who's the NSO? Oh no, Kahara. So I already have this these skills unlocked. Okay, now I can save. Uh, this one. Okay, so now we're gonna go go to the library. Everybody's still good. Yeah. Okay, that way Legard can regenerate some mind. The 
cold sun rays burn your skin. Huh. Kind of like Moon Scorching in the second game. So then you go in the present. I think in the present. Oh, I can probably get a very good uh, armor set if I run into. Uh, what's his name? Sir Sir. I think this is his name. I think he might be here. Or is that further up ahead? I'm mm -hmm. not sure now. Oh, I think that's just to make it more otherworldly. Uh, can I one turn this guy? Nah, let's take off his limbs. Nice. Actually, I might have been able to one shot him, but. Yeah, so I always understood it to be like some sort of like Cthulhu-esque ancient city that exists in like a different time and space. So it's like an underground sun. Scroll. Oh, Church of the Scroll of Sylvan. So is that healing? Definitely. Who do I... Let me Google that real quick. These guys are so creepy. That's kind of what I like about this game. So unexpected. Yeah. I'm using Kahara and the Penance Armor. Because uh, the way I get the Penance Armor was stealing the Vault Key from Torture. Oh yeah, didn't the guy from Game Theory just retire, I think? I, that's that's four. I don't need four Sorcerer Stones. I need a Ring of the Wraiths, I think it's called. How are you, Wizard? Uh, come on, buy some Soul Stones. Because I still want to... I think there's like a weapon or two I want to upgrade. Oh, good for him. Okay. Ah, I don't want to fight this guy. <laughs> I have a lot of cloth hoods. Oh, did I not heal the guard? Well, Dorsey can do that. So I think she can infect you, which is what I'm trying to guard against. Okay. And then it's just a DPS race with uh, the... The Cherub, the Carob. I'm actually not sure how you pronounce it. So I don't think she can attack you in this state. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these enemies are freaky. Embryo. Cherub, Carob. Cherub. What is that thing? Duh. <laughs> so that's the uterus. It's uh, 
Oh, wait, these things don't have a soul. I think they're creations of Voltaire. Okay, there's a harvest man up there, I think. Well, I guess I can just one shot him, so. I love the Mahabra theme. What's in here? Oh, okay, this is a library. Uh, anything else in the around here? No, I can just go straight in, loot all the shelves. <laughs> and then I can do the boss fight. Uh, isn't there a... Oh no, it's in the, per, it's in the present that there's a ritual circle here. Yeah, I think part one is kind of a better gaming experience, but it's a lot harder to get into. Just because, like, mechanically, the game's a lot... is a lot less fair. I think it's an understandable re uh of uh, the uh, the knowledge dude. The academic guy. Now oh, he's the uh, the enlightened one, I think. Can I make any more? Okay, let's just loot this real quick, because one or two scrolls can change your entire playthrough. Ooh, empty scroll. I don't need it, but I'd rather have it. Yeah, I'm really curious what Terminus is going to look like in like five years, because especially towards the end game, it kind of feels like there's more to come. Kira Pocket Cat. Yeah. Ah, hey bumpers. Okay, loot the first floor. Yeah, so each of the four main characters is like a reflection of the older gods, so there's two of each. So there's two, like, Endless Soul, two Enlightened Souls. And also, if you look at the Prehavel map, there's some locations that looks like they're, uh, they just, like, that the dev hasn't added in yet. Yeah, like the, I think the train station is the one that stuck stuck out to me, stuck out to me. Not in a bed. Oh yeah, because he can take his time, you know. He don't owe nobody nothing. Yeah, I'm looking forward when there's like, like how there's. First there were Souls games, and then there were like Souls likes. I'm looking forward to when there's like games like Fear and Hunger. Okay, I think Darcy needs a smoke because it does get annoying after a bit with that constant pop up. Pipe, there it is. Okay, next is the boss fight. Board.
Okay, I'm just gonna look up the solution real quick. Because I forget it every time. Yeah, the first time around. Uh, but I do like the the time travel puzzles in this part. But yeah, the first time it was, it's it's crazy to see how easy it is once you know where everything is. But the first time around, it's such a fucking struggle. Okay, uh, I should probably up my mind. Oh, no, that's fine. I don't know, it still makes me anxious to see a solo on my main character. Where's the pipe? Which one you're supposed to go for? I think it's the left brain. Wow. Heal yourself. Need you alive. Oh, come on, the guard. Yeah, I, just, I love the boss fight music, that, that foghorn. Timing for another critical hit. Damn, Darcy's dealing out the damage. Okay, got him. Okay, so next uh, save gain and then to Kahara, but I need to get the lab first. Cogs of fear and hunger. That's so ominous. Okay, so I need to go to the lab in the present. I was going to putting a turn based survival horror.
No, I'm going for a Grogoroth this time. Yeah, I didn't regret the girl this time. I mean, she's still up there. I just stuffed her in the cage. Yeah, and I've I've beaten it with the God of Fear and Hunger, but never with Grogoroth. Oh, nice. Uh, who should I give that to? I think it's gonna be Darcy as well, because I need a fire to cast a status effect on Grogoroth. So. There we go. Scroll of Pyromancy trick. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty cool like plot twist the first time around. I had no idea about what the girl was. Uh -huh, fashionable trench coat. Okay, I'm gonna save the game here and then do uh, Shambara. Uh, fine, I just wanna get that lucky coin. I forget if a throwing knife does poison or not, because I need some poison, something that can do poison damage for Grogoroth, and I'm not sure I have anything yet. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I, uh, I already have the blue sin. I could get two, though. Does the blue sin apply a status effect? <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Jacob? I blame uh, Super Eye Patch for. Oh, good deal. Well, I'm honored. Yeah, but I love how much lore this game has. It, it's hard to explain to people why I like it so much. Okay, but it's good on health. Mine's getting a bit low. Yeah, and this game is getting me into Berserk now. So my next few videos will probably have like a bit, might have like some more lore or content from Berserk because it's pretty cool. I'm I'm getting into it. If you do a leg sweep at the... Oh, no, I was reading about that. That, door, that the leg sweep breaks every door. But no, I don't have it because I have the... Actually, let me show you. Because I got the, I think, the blue sin, which I want to upgrade with a soul stone. I already got the... I could use the miasma now, I think about it. Upgrade that. And then Darcy's got the purified eastern sword. So I guess, yeah, like, guard needs a better weapon. Yeah, I'm about... I'm on chapter 39, and I think there's like 300, so I'm like, I'm almost at the end of the Golden Age arc. I've seen the, I've seen some of the anime. Oh, I've played all the Souls games. I've beaten Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, 4, Bloodborne. I never beat Sekiro. I actually didn't beat Elden Ring either. But yeah, I've played a lot of Souls games. I... I fucking love them. I always get a little bit angry when you get two heads. I always just pick heads because it doesn't make a difference. So, uh, let's save. Do I need to back this up now? Okay, so now I need to get to the present to get into the lab. Okay, let's go get Sir Sergo. Oh yeah, I was gonna run into him, but I turned back because I got the Healing Whisper spell. Oh. Oh, no worries. Oh, okay, I see you. Okay, so I'm gonna... Fuck, they're all hungry. 
Ah, okay. So, I'm gonna wanna take out everything that I can. Nah, Lexi's not gonna help me. Oh, no worries. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forget that running away is an option. Uh, let me see. I think I might be able to pull through this one. Uh, I'm thinking go, let's go for the body for now. Yeah, I'm, I make bad choices in this game. I just somehow pull through at some point. Okay, but let's eat before I forget again. Short sword, long sword, okay. So you can get the plate armor. We give. Nice. Yeah, they're all pretty tanky now. Oh. Okay. Uh, I need to change back to the past to get back to the alleyways. I also need to activate the um, portal by the library. I keep forgetting to do that. Damn it, you scared me. Okay, I gotta take care of this portal real quick. Because it's gonna be useful to walk around a lot less. And the goat Pavo Yuding? I'm not sure who that is. Oh! Oh, yeah! I, I wanna see more of his backstory. He's such an interesting character. Okay, uh, now I go back to the past to get back to the alleyways. Yeah, because I like how Pavis introduced. At first, you think he's a villain, but then when you find out his like backstory and what he's really trying to do, he gets a lot more interesting. And he has a very interesting sense of fashion too. Okay, so I've searched two of the cas of the, like the holes. So there's w should be one more. Juked. Actually, so I'm already here. I'm just gonna go save real quick. And get all these herbs. Oh, might as well cook too. Yeah, I had a lot of raw meat on me. At least it should be good for food for a while.
Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, I've lost count. How much raw meat was I carrying? Okay, there we go. There is... Grilled meat 10. Oh, okay, I got 14. That's gonna be useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do like grilling, though. Okay, let's go find the last chasm. I think there's only like three or f might be four of them. But I think it should be like the first one you encounter. Well, I can't see all the chat. Okay. I think it's just like, oh, this is like an exit. Do I have four limbs? I know I got a few. One leg, one arm. Not even close. <laughs> it's normal to be protective of uh, Moonless. Uh, okay, we're still okay on food, but I can. They can eat something. I should smoke. Where's my pipe? Yeah, Moonless is the best. Who's a good puppy? Damn it. Is there anything else to loot here? Fellowship, I already had that. <laughs> More raw meat for the grilling. Okay. Food is always useful. You had to fight Chambara, I think, in the past as well. Or am I wrong? Where's in the present? Yeah. 
Yeah, so basically you clone yourself before fighting uh, the tormented one. I don't get the purpose of these, of this, of fighting the spiders. Okay, it does have to be in the present. Okay, so let's go take care of that. Nice. Scroll the general. I'm not sure what that one does. Okay, I think there's a... Yeah, there's a the thing to uh, change the time period right at the entrance. Flies. That's just that comment always unnerves me a little bit. Those guys are creepy. The red men, they're they're, they're hollers. Such sad creatures. Okay, arms first. I love the backstory. It's like, oh, I'm an artist. I need to be tortured. She's doing on her extra turn. Moonless, step your game up. Ah, oh, I gone for the other arm. Shit. Press the wrong button. Oh, it does sound like the sound Pocket Cat makes. You're right. Now it's just a torso, so we should have this phase done. There we go. This will speed him a little bit. Just just for the sake of it. Does he have anything on him? Ew.
Okay, uh, we could heal a little bit. Body. Okay, some AO for Darcy. Okay, this part, yeah, same thing, just gotta take out the arms. Thank you. Yeah, so far so good, but we'll see. Okay, that was quick. The, uh, the Silent Hill 4 part. I was hoping I did one first. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been thinking that maybe someday I can find some time to make a video on it. There's just something so claustrophobic to it. Okay, skills. Uh, I'm heal Moonless. And the soundtrack, too. I love the soundtrack to most on the hills. Okay. Jesus, 2,000 damage. That's gonna help. Oh, fuck yeah. As if a millennia of torment just slipped before your eyes. That line is, yeah, uh, theme of Laura is one of my favorite pieces of, of uh, gaming music. And if you hear my video essays, you'll constantly hear me playing uh, Silent Hill. Yeah, we got uh, the R RN Jesus was generous on that one. I mean, Darcy had one critical hit for 2000, so. Okay, so save game and golden the golden palace. Oh, I gotta be careful. The uh, white angel is out and about, but I do want the white angel stone. Oh, I gotta cure, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. I gotta cure Darcy's infection. Watch me forget and have her die for no reason. Okay, come on. I don't want, any I don't want anybody to lose any limbs. Okay, one down. He kind of reminds me of, reminds me of uh, post-apocalypse uh, Griffith from Berserk. His uh, armor kind of looks like this. Uh, I think I forget you're supposed to go for the heart and torso on this guy. I guess it's a torso.
There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh yeah, I gotta heal my people. So you need to equip the... Okay, so that cured her infection and bleeding. So now I just gotta do Moonless's Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, so that's so now save game and get. Uh, I need to get into the, the golden temple. Now I can just. Oh, I can just take a, the shortcut here. Well, no, I'm gonna save game at the Tower of the Endless. So, ah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. No, I don't want to get infected with anything. So I'll take the arms out first, still. Play it safe. Safe and boring. Get to the tower on game. Should we? Where's my phone? Oh, I didn't take out any of the arms. Okay, there's one. And two. That sounds so creepy. <laughs> I would think of a, there's a band called Uterus Head. I think it would sound something like Tool. Something very experimental. Or Japanese punk rock. Oh, this one's taking a bit. Ah, well, I'm, I'm going that way in a second, anyway. Let's finish up in Mahabre. Okay, this part should be fairly straightforward. I say that though. Watch me uh watch that turn out a different way. Okay. Let's do this. I don't think there's any curveballs on this one. I think this is a pretty straightforward one. He is so polite, though. I will give him that. Uh, okay, now the guard has two turns and that. Nice. Why are they always going for moonless? Also, everybody in my squad has two uh, two turns, except uh, Thiefy Boy or Kahara, I should, I should say. How does it breathe? I don't know. How does stone breathe? Okay, so all I need to do is... <laughs> how does the stone... How does rock bleed? Good question.
That happens to me all the time, especially in my videos. Oh wait, I don't need to talk to him. Like, what am I doing? Oh, you know, yeah, I do need. What time is it? I think I might have time to attempt Grogoroth. Because after this, I can head straight to the depths, I think. Do I have a book of... Uh, book of enlightenment? Shit. I don't think I do. Okay. I, th I do have an empty scroll somewhere, though. Oh, wait. It'll be in here. No, I don't have one. Uh, oh, okay, I got two empty scrolls. Okay, I can use one. <laughs> In the only real time zone. <laughs> All other time zones are lies. Wait, I don't remember this. What is What's happening? Seems like the hounds gave up on you. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, so save game, and then I can head to the gauntlet. Is there anything else I need to do? I got poison. Oh, I need to enhance the fire sword to make sure I get... I don't know. I remember hearing that some dogs can come after you in the... Uh... Golden Palace, but I've never seen them. Okay, let's eat these up. Okay. Okay, so now warp to the surface. What is the dirt for, anyway? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know what I expected, but... <laughs> okay, so go to the Hexen, and then... Go to... The God of the Depths. The goggles, they do nothing. Uh, wait, no, okay. Oh Lord, give enlightenment. I should really order to organize my save games one day. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, the hex in the top level. Yeah, he looks like the... Was it the USS Saratoga? Apparently, when I was researching one of my videos, I was looking into that. Apparently, apparently there's like three or four USS Saratogas. So it's easy to get them mixed up, because I think there's still one that's like active. Uh, what am I doing? Do I need... I have a healing spell. Can I get more? No, I'm not using the Blood Golem. God damn it. No. Nah. Oh, I mean, I have. Oh wait, no, I. I think I still need to. What's how many souls do I have? Oh shit, five. Oh, I'm gonna go buck wild then. Okay, I need to go find bodies. Uh, there's two down here, and that should be enough to get the blue sin. I think there was a, a guard down here that I could still harvest it, so... I'm not the bad guy. I guess not. Uh, are there any more around here? I could kill the girl. <laughs> nah. Okay, here's the normal one. So that's three. I need two more. I 
think there's a plank with a nail around here somewhere. I need to avoid that because that, I hate those things. Okay. Let's go back up. Well, my cursive blue sin first. Okay, I have six. Yeah, so blue sin, definitely. Okay, so let's see what I'm working with now. Curse blue sin. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, I could get the miasma. Oh, I just gotta do the fat, the leg sweep on that. So, where is that? Up. Uh, uh, okay, so this way. Yeah, I got enough alcohol and resources to keep his uh, health uh, mind above 50, so I might as well get the... Uh... What are you so? I already forgot. Oh, oh, I forget he only sells you one. Okay, so we get the miasma here. Miasma, and then I am ready to head into God of the Depths. I guess the guard leg sweep. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so the guard's gonna get it, but I need to make sure he has maxed out mind. Okay, it's not cursed, but it does more damage. Well, that works for me. Do I have the best shoot on him? Yeah. You know what, just for the hell of it. That's what you get for all those times you got me when I was still learning the game. Uh, okay, where am I going next? Next I need to go... Okay, save the game, head to the, go to the God of Depths. And I pulled the blue sin, so I have to head in from the top. Because all the because the mine collapsed. Do I still have any soul stones? I might as well use them up. Give myself more options. Eh, two. Okay, whatever. Uh, have I sucked the souls out of these guys? Yeah. I guess I'll go get another. Have two heals.
Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, here we go. Wish me luck, y'all. Okay. Good. Oh, I think if I run down, I can skip this guy. Now that, now that I take a better look. And this time I will be saving game because I don't want to be doing this the entire time. And honestly, once you get past those, uh, I think those are the only instant death things. Okay. Let me make sure. I'll be right back. I need my phone. Okay, I put my phone down somewhere I can't find it. I'll just all tab out real quick. Just to make sure I got the the writing correct on the enlightenment. Okay, so it's O with no H. Lord give enlight enlightenment. I'm gonna get the riding here wrong. Light ten met. Hi Adrian, thank you for stopping by. We're about to we're trying to make our way through the gauntlet. Okay. Oh Lord give enlightenment. Okay, I wanted to use it a little bit further down, but I already died twice here. I still have one more. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I'm using it. Oh, there's a lever I got pulled. Come to me, Salami. Tobacco. Ah. All right, Darcy, you have to bat again. There. Jesus, how much more damage do I need to, to deliver to, so it doesn't attack once? Whew, my blood pressure's up. Okay, good, good. Oh, I need to hear, I need to, uh, oh yeah, I can't bleed, I forgot.
Okay, this is it. Okay, I need to survive this fight and save the game. I oh, think thank you. It's uh having y'all support has really helped. Okay. <sighs> Just one one more time. Oh Okay, uh, you can get body on everybody to a hundred. What heating items do I have? Okay, so basically you, like, you cast poison and fire on Grogoroth's torso as fast as possible, right? Okay, I got herbs. Probably want to save some of these for the fight. Oh, but I can use these. Filled up. I need to follow up. I should have done this before I saved, though. I just realized. Okay, uh, we are going in. Anything else? Okay, let's double check. Okay, I don't think. I don't think uh, this memory is a big risk here. I'm not trying to do damage with my guys. Uh, yes, I want that, and I can't do anything there. All right, let's see if I got, let's see if I can do this. Before I feel the urge to get up and stretch, because I've been sitting for a while. I, I don't know. I should have researched this a bit more. I didn't think I would reach Grogoroth on this run. I mean, not on this run, but this play session. I'll give him a few tries, but then I need to get to uh, real life obligation responsibilities. Nazra. How's Nazra? Is this a bug? Or, or does this does this always play? Does anybody know? Huh? Okay. Okay, so I need to cast... Oh, that, was, that was quick. Okay, so... 
Fire on torso. This would be poison on torso. And I need her to do fast attack. Okay. Last moonless. Still good. Come on, come on. Stay alive. Okay. Uh item. Yeah, heal Darcy. Darcy, heal me. Okay, so now I need to go for the eyes to stop it from doing damage, I believe. Or do I just do... Actually, I think I'm just going to do guard with him. Okay, dude, push and fold yourself. Darcy, I need you alive desperately, so let's do that. Keep Darcy alive at all costs. You. Okay. Uh. Probably Kuros. Do I have anything explosive? Oh, I should probably I should probably use that beforehand. Okay. Yes! Got him! Oh. Oh, okay. Whew. God, I've been wanting to get this dude for so long. Oh, this is... Okay. I want to... I want to crush the old gods. I am nothing but a shell, a fraction of the traces that is left of Grogoroth. Yeah, thank you for the help, and thank you for the company, and the support. Y'all, y'all kept me going, and I appreciate that, thank you very much. Yet yeah, even I could crush you in this very moment. So, like, anytime you be an old god, he just gets bored with you and, like, fucks off, huh? Older gods, they do not even exist in this world anymore. He was by the scene on his shoulder eyeball. <sighs> the older gods are too pure for this world. They are the true forms of the feeling and ideas that linger in men. But humans are too tainted by their own mind and ambition to understand purity. Oh, pleasure's all mine. I, I actually had a lot of fun. It's raining here, so it's a good time to stay inside and play and stream and hang out with y'all. Now take a look at the world you delve. Do you see that shape? The shape could never exist among men because the shape varies between every human. If you could truly see the shape, it would share the individual mind and existence. Humans are weak. I don't know what to say here. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna defeat an old god to turn down his offer.
there, grasping for breath desperately as the shock and horror shut down your bodily functions one by one. You feel terror run wild inside of you despite being hardened by the horrors of the dungeon. Nothing you've witnessed so far could have readied you for this primal feeling. You cannot operate in any way. Your body has to shut down as that is the only escape it can come up with when facing the order being. I just realized it kind of sucks that it was only Moonless that died. The biggest regret you have was ever set foot in this dungeon. That makes that's fair enough. You never escaped. No one heard about you again. Without a trace, you vanished from this world. It's almost as if you fell out the history books altogether. Your screams of terror never reached anyone. Your long quest only gave you hints about the greater scheme of things. A learned fraction of the secrets the ancient world holds. More than what is meant for human ears. Ending B, the older one. We did it, y'all. Okay. Thank you very much for hanging out and keeping me company. Um... I will be editing this and putting together a commentary run, but it's going to take me a couple of days, so expect it early next week. So thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Be well and later.